We're going to try and solve the following question on percentage purity. Uh, the question states that there's 0.5 grams of impure ammonium chloride and it's wound with an excess of sodium hydroxide solution. So uh, just focus on the first uh, part of the statement, which is uh, which I've underlined over here. And let's try and make an equation first. So ammonium chloride is, ammonium is NH4 plus 1, chloride is Cl minus 1. So ammonium chloride is bound with an excess of NaOH. So NaOH, uh, the salt that would be produced is going to be NaCl. And there's going to be water and ammonia gas is going to be, it's going to be released. So that's your equation and it's a balanced equation. Now two pieces of information are provided. One is that there is uh, 0 0.5 00 grams. Remember, it's accurate up to, this mass is accurate up to three significant figures. Uh, but it's impure. So that means if it's impure, that basically means uh, that it's not 0 0.500 grams. It might be less than 0 0.500 grams. So we don't actually have the mass of NHP, NH4 here. We have the mass of, uh, of the impure su substance. And uh, what uh, the other piece of information that's provided is that NaOH is in excess. So this is excess NaOH. So we don't have the moles of NaOH as well. So let's now focus on the second statement, which is that the ammonia liberated is absorbed in 25 cm cube of 0.2 mole per dm cube sulfuric acid. So this reaction, whatever amount of ammonia that's being produced, that ammonia is now being uh, absorbed by sulfuric acid. So it's reacting with H2SO4 and uh, the salt that would be produced would be ammonium sulfate which is going to be NH4 twice SO4 and you need to balance this equation so there would be 2 NH3. So uh, this is the reaction. The ammonia produced in the previous reaction is now being used and reacted with H2SO4 to produce ammonium sulfate. And the information that's provided is that you're given the quantity of sulfuric acid, you're given the volume and you're given the concentration of sulfuric acid that's used in the reaction. So I've uh, written down the information that's provided. Sulfuric acid volume is given 25 cm cube, accurate up to three significant figures. And concentration 0 0.200 mole per decimeter cube, again accurate up to three significant figures. Now I'm, uh, I can find the moles of sulfuric acid because I'm given volume and concentration. Uh, but again, remember, uh, it says that the excess of sulfuric acid required, so again, remember, the ammonia that is liberated is being absorbed in sulfuric acid, but this sulfuric acid is in excess. Uh, so there would be leftover sulfuric acid at the end of the reaction. So ammonia is not going to completely react with sulfuric acid. Some of the sulfuric acid would be left behind, and the excess of the sulfuric acid required 5.64 cm cube or 0.2 mole per dm cube NaOH solution. So there's another reaction now happening and that is that the excess of sulfuric acid, the leftover sulfuric acid in the previous reaction, that's now reacting with NaOH to produce salt and water. So I've written down a balanced equation. The amount of uh, NaOH uh, that is being used is also given. It's given as 5.64 cm cube of 0.2 mole per dm cube concentration. So we can write that down. NaOH, uh, the volume is 5.64 cm cube and the concentration is 0 0.200 mole per decimeter cube. And again, they're accurate up to three significant figures. Uh, let's go back to our question. Uh, that's the only information that's provided. And we are now being asked to calculate the percentage of ammonium chloride in the original sample. So this is uh, what's happening. Uh, you had ammonium chloride, 0 0.500 grams, that's impure. It reacts with NaOH, produces ammonia. Ammonia goes and reacts with sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is in excess, and that sulfuric acid is left over. The leftover sulfuric acid then reacts with NaOH and ends up producing a salt and a water molecule. Now, to solve this answer, I need to find the moles of ammonium chloride over here. Uh, but I have to travel all the way back. Uh, what I'm going to do is, what I'm basically going to do is, I'm going to find the moles of NaOH first. And from that, I can find the moles of the leftover sulfuric acid. I can find the moles of sulfuric acid that were used because I know the volume and concentration and I would have the moles of the leftover sulfuric acid. In that way, I would know what amount of sulfuric acid has reacted with ammonia and I would be able to find the moles of ammonia over here. 
once I have the moles of ammonia that are produced, then I can find the moles of ammonium chloride and then I can find its mass. So we're going to start right at the bottom and that's the first thing we are going to do. We're going to try and find the moles of NaOH. Volume and concentration are provided. So moles is volume multiplied by concentration. So now solving for moles concentration multiplied by volume. 0 0.200 into 5.64 divided by 1000 which was my volume. In dm cube I get 0 0.001128 moles. Uh, so these are my moles that I'm getting. Uh, what you can do is, remember when you are stating the answer, round it up to the accurate significant figures. So both values were accurate to three significant, fi significant figures. So when you're stating this answer, it should be stated as uh, it should be stated as 0 0.00113 moles. But remember, in your steps, uh, don't do the rounding. Only round the answer when you are stating or quoting the answer. Uh, because your answer cannot be accurate or more accurate uh, than three significant figures. Once you have the moles of any which, let's move to the next step, which is the moles of sulfuric acid. Now, you know that two uh, NaOH produce one H or react with one H2. So, for the ratio is two ratio one. So, you have the moles of NaOH, you can find the moles of sulfuric acid. So, we can write our calculations over here. I know that the ratio is two ratio one. So 0 0.001128 moles are going to react with how many? It's going to be X and we can then cross multiply. And if I cross multiply, the value that I'm going to get is, it's basically divided by two. It's going to be 0 0.001128 and it would be divided by two. And my answer is going to be 0 0.00564. So the moles of sulfuric acid would be 0 0.00564 moles. I'm going to write it over here. Uh, I've done the calculation. Uh, let's go back to our question now. So it's coming out to be 0 0.00564 moles. Now remember, this over here is the leftover excess H2SO4. These are the, This is my leftover H2SO4 from the previous reaction. So let's uh, find the moles of H2SO4 that were actually being uh, used in the reaction, the previous reaction that were added in the reaction in the first step. So you have volume and you have concentration. So moles for that would be uh, 0.200 into the volume, which is 25 cm cube uh, divided by 1000 in dm cube. And the answer that I'm going to get is, so the answer is that I have uh, for this, it's going to come out to be point triple zero five. It's actually going to come out to be point double zero five moles. So the answer to this calculation is coming out to be it's coming out to be point double zero five moles. Uh, so these are the moles of sulfuric acid that were initially added in the reaction with ammonia to absorb ammonia, and you had the moles of the leftover sulfuric acid that took part in the next reaction. So you have the two moles, the moles that you added and the moles that were left over. So how many moles actually reacted in the reaction? What you're going to do is you're going to subtract the two values. And if you subtract the two values, uh, it's going to be 0 0.005. And you're going to subtract uh, from it these moles, the leftover moles, 0 0.00564 moles. So this would be the amount that is actually taking part in the reaction. So 0 0.005 moles uh, were added and 0 0.00564 moles, the leftover H2SO4 took part in the next reaction. So subtract the two values and you're going to get the moles that were actually taking part in the reaction. And that value is going to come out to be equal to, my answer is coming out to be 0 0.004436 uh, moles. So that's the amount of sulfuric acid taking part in the reaction with ammonia. And we can then find the moles of ammonia using this uh, because it's one sulfuric acid reacting with two ammonia. So the moles of ammonia are going to be twice that value. So uh, if you double the moles, you're going to get the moles of ammonia, which are going to come out to be doubling that comes out to be 0 0.00088, moles. So I found the moles of ammonia that uh, were uh, produced in the first reaction. So let's go to the first reaction now. 
I know that they were 0 0.008872 moles coming of ammonia coming from the first reaction that were taking part in the next reaction. So I have the moles of ammonia and the moles of ammonia and the moles of NH4Cl are going to be the same because it's one ratio one. So the same amount of NH4Cl would produce the same amount of ammonia. So I now know the moles of uh, NH4Cl which are 0 0.008872 moles. And since I have the moles, I can I can find mass, which is going to be, it's going to be simply moles multiplied by the MR of NH4Cl. So it's going to be, it's going to be 0 0.008872 multiplied by the MR, which in this case would be uh, N is 14. And 14 plus 4, that's uh, 4 hydrogen, so that's 18. So it's 18 plus 35.5. So 18 plus 35.5 and let's try and solve this and the answer that I'm getting on my calculator is 0 0.474652 grams. Uh, so this is the value, this is the mass of NH4Cl that's coming. Uh, remember to round it off through, when you're stating the answer, round it off to three significant figures because all your initial values are accurate up to three significant figures so your answer cannot be more accurate then three significant figures. So if you're stating this value, you have to state it as 0.475 grams. Uh, let's move to the last part, which is the calculate the percentage of ammonium chloride in the original sample. So 0.474652 grams is the mass of NH4Cl. The impure sample was 0.5 grams. So how do you find the percentage impurity? Percentage impurity is found uh, or percentage purity is found uh, or the percentage of NH4Cl, the calculation would be very simple. It's going to be 0 0.4746. Uh, Remember to take the most accurate value forward divided by 0 0.500 grams and you're going to multiply that by 100. So the percentage of NH4Cl comes out to be 94.9309%. And when stating your answer, because all your values are accurate up to three significant figures, so your answer should be, it should be 94.9%. This is going to be your answer to this particular question.